Hi everyone, this is Billy. Today I'm going to show you a new crystal radio. I combined it both the AM circuit on the left and the FM circuit on the right. So with one unit you can listen to both channels. You can see the diode and the tuning pointers on the front. On the top there is three terminals on the left for the AM's antenna ground and antenna 2. On the right there's two terminals for the antenna for the FM antenna 1 and FM antenna 2. I will show you how to make it and how to test it. If you like my video please click like, subscribe and send to your friends to watch too. Don't forget to press the bell so you will get alerted on my new videos. Thank you. Let's look at the circuit. We can build this radio using diode or MOS FET 3DQ. Let's look at the diode circuit first. On the top, you find that the FM signal will be coupled through the FM antenna 1 or antenna 2. You can use both or choose one of them to see which one will give you the best performance on the radio you want to tune to. If you want to use both uh, the top one, antenna one, you can use an extensible telescopic antenna. Those you find on common radios. The antenna two at the bottom with the doctor line, you can pull a drop cable of around 0.8 meter. When the FM radio signal enters the resonant coil L1, and uh, it will select the radio station you want to tune to based on your tuning at the variable capacitor C1. We choose an air variable capacitor made of copper. Alternatively, you can use the plastic ones as long as your maximum capacitance is below 20 PF. Even though the air capacitor made of copper will have a better performance. The selected signal will be detected using slope detection uh, by the diode D1. You can choose the list of diode in the table below like 1N60, 1SS106. Uh, the best performance is HSMS2850. The output impedance of the diode varies one by one. Uh, for HSMS2850, it's around 20K. For the other diode, it's around 10K. So you may need an output transformer to match the impedance with your headphone, which is usually around a few hundred ohm or even uh, around 50 ohm, depending on what type of headphones you are using. If you're using a crystal earbud, uh, also called the piezoelectric earbud, those have an impedance around 20K. For those, you may not need a transformer. The capacitor C200PF will be a bypass filter for high frequency, for radio frequency. So the radio frequency signal will be looped back into the resonant circuit to boost your reception. While only the audio frequency can pass through to your headphone. So your headphone will hear better signal. Next, let's look at the circuit at the bottom, which is the AM or medium wave radio circuit. Uh, there are two ways you can fit the signal into the resonant circuit. First way is using a long antenna connecting at the point of AM antenna 1. So for that, you need to also connect the ground to the bottom of uh, coil L2. The, FM, uh, the AM signal will be coupled by this transformer-like coil into L3. L3 will allow you to select 
the station's frequency by tuning the variable capacitor C3. C3 is a two-gain variable capacitor. You connect the two gains together in parallel to create a bigger variable capacitance. Instead of 270, you create a 540 PF uh, by connecting the two gains together. Because otherwise, you need to wind much more turns in your coil. That will uh, waste a lot of list wire. So the coil we are going to use will be made of list wire, uh, winding on a ferret ring. Or the specific core we are going to use for this ferret ring is R40C1, which is manufactured in China. You can buy it from a eBay shop. I will put the link there in my blog. The list wire we are going to use is 0.04 millimeter list wires, uh, but it is a bundle of 60, 60 threads of this type of uh, wires bundled together to form an insulated thread. And that will increase the surface area for high frequency signal to pass through. That means it will increase the Q factor of the coil using a list wire instead of uh, winding it using the conventional magnet wire. The selected AM radio station signal will pass through the diode D2 for detection uh, using the strict detection method. And then the uh, detected DC current will go through the bypass capacitor C4, which is 2000 PF, to route the high frequency radio frequency signal back to the resonance circuit, which will boost the reception. Instead, only the audio frequency signal will pass through and send to the headphone. So the output impedance of the headphone, again, will depend on what diode you choose. You can use the diode listed in the table below. Uh, almost any germanium or scotchy diode can be used. If you use a silicon diode, it will still work, but your output volume will be halved because uh, silicon diode has a much worse voltage drop compared to germanium diode. For FM crystal radios, you can always get a better performance by using the MOS FET 3DQ as the detector instead of using the diode. Uh, I've put a link on the blog about a, a eBay shop where you can buy this 3DQ MOS FET. So if you want to do that, you can follow this circuit diagram. There's a few more terminals for a 3DQ, four terminals instead of two compared to a diode. So you can just uh, look at uh, the look on the chip on the right side of the diagram. You'll find a block diagram showing how the, the pinout of that chip looks like. It's a surface mounted device, very tiny. So if you want to solder it, make sure you keep the soldering temperature below 250 degrees Celsius to avoid heating and damaging that uh, SMD device. Uh, you should make sure you touch it in only a less than one second each time you solder, otherwise it may burn out that SMD. Okay, so the circuit is similar, only that the the turns in the coil you need to connect to the terminals are different. So you can just look at the circuit diagram. For the AM or MW radio at the bottom, you can also use 3DQ, but the performance uh, improvement depends on what type of station you are receiving. If you are receiving very weak signal for a weak station, you find that 3DQ will have a better selectivity and sensitivity for weak stations. If you are 
only looking to receive strong stations, and then you may find that the diode way may actually outperform 3DQ. The output volume or output current of a diode will be multiple times higher than a 3DQ. Uh, however, if you use 3DQ, you will still be able to enjoy the good selectivity, even though the output voltage or current may not be as high as a diode. So this circuit uh, will, will be allow you to use either diode or 3DQ, up to your choice. You can even replace them with uh, crystal. Many people have used crystal as detector uh, for AM or MW radio. I've tried to use crystal even for the FM circuit. It will still work, but the output volume is very low. Sometimes you can't hear what the radio station is saying. It may be better to listen to music, but it's quite hard to listen to news um, broadcasts if you want to hear exactly what he is saying. Let me show you how to wind a coil for the FM crystal radio circuit. Uh, you can choose to have this 2mm thick copper wire and wind 6 turns using an AAA AAA cell battery as the frame. After you finish winding, just take off the battery and leave the empty uh, coil there. Optionally, you can use 1mm copper wire or if you want to have some better performance, you can use some silver-plated, silver-coated copper wires, like this one. Uh, so I will need to also wind one more turn to connect to the antenna. So depending on what type of antenna you are using for the AM, uh, for the FM crystal radio, uh, you may need to increase or decrease the number of turns to match the impedance of your FM antenna. So at home I'm using the Yagi antenna, uh, folded Yagi antenna, which, which has an impedance of around 300 ohm. So that's why I need to wind four turns to connect to that antenna. For variable capacitors, you can use this type of air variable capacitor made of copper. Alternatively, you can use this type of plastic variable capacitor. The Q factor is a bit lower, um, but in, if you have a strong FM signal, this type of variable capacitor will also work. So let's take a look at the coil. This is one using the R40C1 uh, which is the high quality forward tarot coils and we wind a number of turns long enough for the AM frequency so I think there will be around 80 turns from here to here and then somewhere in the middle uh, close to one third of the number of turns we have a tap to connect to the diode as a detector you can have more tapping points depending on your needs um, to match the impedance of your diode and then we have this additional four turns to hook up the 3DQ MOSFET uh, source pole. So this is the better way to hook it up rather than using a tapping point within the main coil. So this is additional coil, we call it L2, with these four turns that will connect to the source pole of the MOSFET. And we will sort the two together so we can connect the same to the ground 
And then the last part of the coil is the the part that we connect to the antenna and ground. So this is around 10 turns that we connect to the ground and the antenna. If you are using a long antenna, okay. But if you are testing outdoor using a short antenna, like a radio, extensible radio telescopic antenna, then you only need to connect the ground and the hot end, this part, directly to your telescopic antenna and ground. They will give you the best sensitivity. We can solder up the components to two different circuits and then mount them on one single board. Uh, this board will allow us to mount both variable capacitor and the knobs so we can put it inside the chassis and only the, the edge of the knobs will be uh, extruding out to the chassis so we can tune it on the side. So you need to find some uh, strong board to mount your two variable capacitor. We'll put everything into this plastic box. I've drew certain holes in this box to match with the places where we need the variable capacitor to come out on the side where the knob will come out on the top where the antenna terminals will come out. These are M4 screw holes and also the headphone jacks. To make it look like an antique uh, radio, we will have this type of furniture paper to wrap one run across the side of our chassis and then we can use a scissor to cut off the excess edges. Leaving around, uh, around one centimeter outside the surface. Then we can cut some notches at the excess part so we can wrap it around uh, at the surface. Then we can put our front piece at the top. Make sure it will hide um, the edges and then we cut out the excessive parts. Then punch the holes through the furniture paper so we can uh, later on mount all the terminals and the knobs. This is how it looks after all the holes are made. Then we can install the circuit boards, putting in all the antenna terminals, make sure we got the screws to secure them. And then we have to uh, connect everything. Uh, the circuit board will be mounted through some plastic screws. Then we will need to insert the detector into the socket. It can be 3DQ or diode, and then put in the AM coil. In the front, we need to uh, clean out a dial plate. I got a PowerPoint document you can download from my blog. And one for AM, one for FM. We will be using this plastic cover for watches and uh, putting some glue, then we can stick them on top of the diode to protect it. Lastly, let's stick the label Billy's Crystal Radio. Let's leave it there to dry. And there you have it, the completed version of this new AM FM Crystal Radio. Now ready to test this AM and FM crystal radio. I'm going to test the AM first. So we'll be uh, using the antenna from this big loop antenna hanging at my window. And it's made of a uh, number of turns of these wires, around 10 turns. 
and then we will just connect the first turn and the last turn of the loop to the elevator alligator clip and then I will clamp the elevator clip to the AM terminals of the antenna AM antenna terminals which is these two knobs these two terminals I will use this self-made step-down transformer which is a very tiny transformer made of a special metal that can uh, reduce the number of turns and one end connects to to my crystal radios headphone jack without battery so I plug in the AM output jack here the other end will connect to this jack uh, which will connect to my headphone for monitoring this headphone is 500 ohm each the phone will be about 1000 ohm for two of them and then the uh, secondary coil has another terminal that will match with the iPhone's mic input around 1k also so this terminal I will plug into the uh, microphone headphone jack of the iPhone that I'm doing the recording now and there's no battery involved only direct recording from the output of the crystal radio to the iPhone's mic jack the only type of amplification may be the auto gain control built into the iPhone's microphone jack okay so I'll do the plug in now after that you will not hear from me anymore the output will be directly from the crystal radio Bao 864, a service of Hong Kong Commercial Broadcasting Company Limited. So now let's test to simulate the outdoor environment. I'm using a long telescopic antenna which is 1.6 meter long pointing to the transmitter at the other end of the island. run of the circuit and see whether I can receive anything. Let me plug in the microphone. So next we are going to test the FM crystal radio. So I'll be making use of this ERG antenna hanging of a window that is connected through some one millimeter laminated wire to so this two alligator clip one red one black and then I will just connect the clip to the FM crystal radio terminal after that I'll plug in the um, microphone jack from the iPhone to the crystal radio's output and again no battery involved so it's direct output from the crystal radio to the iPhone's iPhone and mic jack <laughs> 
真火嗰個熱度嗰個輻射咧唔一樣，我呢個嘅發酵就係有層次嘅。唱歌係一個點樣嘅蘇打餅？聽咗古典音樂嘅有受到珍惜發生嘅，冇人知啦嚇。咁點解有啲人就驚呢樣嘢？咁見到但係好多都係好低價咧，係拍上去嚇。咁誒、呃、貴嗰三。Now I'm testing the FM Crystal Radio by connecting to a 1.2 meter. Telescopic radio antenna and plus a loose flat that hand to a waist, which is a, a big screw, so it can uh, pull down. Uh, this is a silver plated copper wire. So this is close to the window, and the transmitter's direction is. It's around 10 kilometers away, across that, uh, that direction I'm pointing to. So let's uh, plug in the microphone. Hello, I'm Jimmy Chan. I'm going to go to the next one. 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 話近來嘅確診數字雖然有下降，但係高風險群組嘅重症率仍然令人擔心，希望民眾唔好鬆懈。呢次新聞報導完。That's the end of my video. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time.